Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video, another edition of top 5 best PC game deals of the week. Haven't gotten around to doing this series in quite a while, but I thought now would be about time to get back to doing them. Now this edition is a little bit different in that I didn't include any games that were super, super cheap. Every single game on this list is over the price of $10, one going as high as $36. So yeah, I'm including more expensive games, but they're newer games and heavier experiences all around. So so let's just get right into this. The first deal at number 5 is a part of Steam's Ubisoft sale that's going on right now. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Blacklist is 66% off down to $10. I bought this game at launch and completed it very quickly. I had a great time with it. It's a rather short game. I completed it in around 8 hours. So it's not the most expansive experience in the world. And if you did drop $60 on it, I could see why you would be a little bit disappointed in terms of how much content there is to the game. There is some additional content, however. It's got a cooperative element and now that it's down to ten dollars i think it's a great price to pick up splinter cell blacklist at splinter cells a franchise a lot of you guys have probably forgotten about rumors are circulating that a brand new splinter cell game is in development may be released in 2018 who knows but for now if you want an introduction to the franchise blacklist is a great one and at 10 bucks it's a pretty solid deal next up we've got bioshock the collection 75 percent off for 15 dollars this includes bioshock remastered bioshock 2 remastered it has the dlc for bioshock 2 and bioshock 2 minerva's Den, and then it includes Bioshock Infinite as well as the season pass for that game. Bioshock is an absolutely phenomenal franchise, possibly the best trilogy in the history of gaming. I know I could have that debate for a long time, but it goes without saying that Bioshock, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite are all three terrific, terrific games. Now, I think most would agree in saying that Bioshock as well as Bioshock Infinite are probably the strongest of the series. Bioshock 2 is a game that some weren't as big of a fan of. I thoroughly enjoyed Bioshock 2. I thought it was a pretty solid game, but if I had to pick a favorite bioshock infinite is just on another level but with the collection you get all three games for 15 dollars. that's five dollars a game and that's awesome value for your money Moving on from that, we've got XCOM 2 The Collection. It is down to $30 as a part of Fanatical Spring Sale, and you can also use the code SPRING10 to save an additional $3, so it's actually $27, and that's a solid deal. Now, that is expensive for XCOM 2, but it also includes XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. It is a very extensive expansion that adds a lot of new content in the fight against Advent. It includes new hero classes, new enemies, missions, environments, everything you would expect out of a solid expansion, you're getting it. And XCOM 2, the base game, is already really good. I have said in the past that it's more of the same from XCOM Enemy Unknown, but considering how good of a game Enemy Unknown was, that's not necessarily a bad thing. XCOM 2 was a part of Humble Monthly, but that was just the base game. With this, you get XCOM 2 as well as XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, and that's a recent expansion, and very much worth it on that end. You've also got four other DLC packs, which are smaller, but still a nice inclusion. $27, a little bit steep of a price point, but for all of the content you're getting, I would say it's worth it. Next up, we've got Fallout 4, which is 50% off over at the Humble Store store down to $15. Remember, if you are a Humble Monthly subscriber, you will save an additional 10% on top of that, knocking it down to $13.50. And with Humble, you do get 5% credit back through Humble Rewards, so that's pretty nice as well. Fallout 4 was one of the biggest games in recent memory, and I think a lot of gamers would agree in saying that it was a little bit of a disappointment, but going back to 2015, there was just so much hype behind Fallout 4 that it was gonna be really, really hard for this game to live up to expectations. It's a solid game, and and with the Bethesda open world games on PC, I think they're worth owning because these games have ridiculous amounts of longevity on PC. The content you're getting by owning Fallout 4 is really endless. Now, you can also pick up Fallout 4 the Complete Edition. That includes the base game as well as all of the downloadable content. And Fallout 4 for $15 or alternatively $13.50 if you're a monthly subscriber is a pretty solid deal. Typically, this game hovers around $20 from what I can recall, so $15 is a little bit cheaper. They do have the Season Pass available, and that's actually even more expensive than the base game. It's $22.50. Personally, I don't think the downloadable content's even that good, so I would just stick with the main game. And at $15 or $13.50 if you're a monthly subscriber, that's a solid pickup. And finally, I wanted to give a mention to Assassin's Creed Origins, which is 40% off for $36. Now, as you guys might know, I am a big Assassin's Creed fan. Obviously, Assassin's Creed and PC don't go hand in hand all the time. We've seen some very horrendous AC ports on PC, going back to AC Unity. AC3 wasn't all that good 
it. But I can say that AC Origins is a really solid port. And best of all, the game itself is really good. It's a stark shift from past Assassin's Creed games. They've completely redone the combat. It's a lot more intuitive. And there is so much content to the game. Unfortunately, the game does kind of force you to do side quests. Every mission has a level threshold. And if you just try to rush through the main story, that's not going to work out all too well for you unless you delve into the microtransactions. So that's a little unfortunate. I don't want to see game design like that. If you want to just play through the main story, you should have the option of just playing through the main story, even though the side content is decent. But yeah, if I had one gripe about the game, that would be it. But at $36, I think Assassin's Creed Origins is a solid pickup, especially considering the game is still a relatively recent release. It came out back in October. I think you guys should give this a go, especially if in the past you've been turned off by the AC franchise. This is such a step in the right direction. And as always with Steam, if you don't enjoy the game, you do have the option to refund it. And I do understand that $36 is quite an investment on a PC game. So having that option is quite nice. That's going to conclude this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you guys are checking out any of these deals. There's a lot of other great deals available as well. Again, Steam's got a lot of Ubisoft titles on sale, not just the ones I mentioned. Humble's running a Bethesda sale and Fanatical's having a really solid spring sale. So give everything a look. I just covered some of the best deals available right now. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.